Hi everybody! So I just put together a little picture timeline of me from when I started dressing about three years ago until now. Uh, I'm just going to go through all these pictures that I have from back then and kind of explain like what I was thinking and feeling and what kind of things were going on in my life and stuff. So I hope you guys like it. So this is me almost three years ago when I just finished university. I'd been thinking a lot about dressing like a girl for the last year or so and I was thinking a lot about forced feminization and I know I was just like I couldn't stop thinking about dressing like a girl and eventually I got myself to do it after a lot of going back and forth because I kind of felt like I was I would be a freak if I did it and I just felt like like if I got started with this I wouldn't be able to stop which was <laughs> kind of true actually but I was just I was just afraid of what I was getting myself into but then after I bought the girl clothes and tried them on I had the best time ever there's this one weekend where my roommate was out of town and I spent the whole time dressed as a girl and I loved it. I I loved the way I felt, I loved the way I acted, like I just, I acted really, really femininely and I watched a lot of girl movies and just tried to be as girly as I could and I loved it. A couple days after that I came out to one of my friends. Um, I just told her that I spent the whole weekend dressed as a girl and I really liked it and I'd been thinking about doing it for a long time. And she was totally supportive and just really, really good about it. And she was just really interested too, like she asked me tons of questions and and it was really good. Um, and a couple weeks later, uh, we went on a little shopping trip to the mall and went to some women's clothing stores and bought some clothes, which was really awesome because at that point I was really nervous to even go into girls' stores. Um, it's because I felt like I looked weird if I was like, shopping in there. And it helped a lot having a girl with me because um, it looked more like we were like shopping for her or something and we weren't shopping for me. So it helped me a lot and um, we went and bought some makeup too which was awesome because I didn't know anything about makeup at all and no idea like what I needed to use or anything and she helped me like pick a bunch of stuff and so then I could start practicing my makeup. A couple of months after that I moved into my own apartment. Partially because I just wanted to have my own place and partially because I really wanted to explore dressing like a girl more and I knew that I wouldn't be able to do that if I had a roommate. I started dressing really often when I had my own apartment. I was getting dressed almost every night when I'd come home from work and I'd spend most of the weekends dressed as a girl. But after a couple months of dressing pretty often I started to get kind of depressed and I started to feel like I was a freak if I was doing this and I was seriously considering not dr not dressing anymore, but um, the same friend that I came out to first bought me this really nice makeup kit for Christmas and it made me feel really good and got me like totally excited about dressing again and I went away for Christmas for a couple weeks back home and when I was back there I was getting way more excited about it again than when I got back I was started dressing a lot again. I used to go on webcam sometimes with somebody that I met online and I managed to find a video of me from then. The lighting isn't very good but you can kind of see what I look like. I'm wearing a bit too much makeup in some of these clips and my wig is pushed a bit far too back so it doesn't really, the bangs aren't really sitting properly on my head and they should be lower down because I would look better. I always found it hard to take pictures of myself because I only had the camera on my Blackberry and it wasn't a very good camera at all and I had to hold it and I didn't really have any places that had good enough lighting to take good pictures so I, I found I could never really capture the way I looked. I was also having trouble posing like a girl because I, I, I felt very stiff and I just wasn't used to, to posing like a girl so I just kind of have like a bunch of awkward pictures and I wasn't really sure what I was doing with my clothes either. Um, these were all just clothes that I bought at a thrift store, so I was just kind of trying putting random things together. But then the friend that I came out to came over and she took a bunch of pictures of me while I tried on all my clothes. We took probably like three or four hundred pictures in this one night and most of them were not very good. Like I just looked really awkward or making a bad expression on my face or something. And But I got a few really good ones and I really, really liked them. A couple of weeks later we got our hands on an SLR camera and we did another photo shoot. We got some really good, good quality pictures this time. Again we took like three or four hundred pictures and the majority of them weren't that good but there were a couple like really, really good ones that I really liked the way I looked in. 
A couple of months later, I was getting more confident in the way that I looked, and I started to go outside. The first time I went outside, it was like 9 o'clock at night, and it was pretty dark out, and I just went for this little walk around my building. Um, I was really, really nervous when I was outside, and my heart was like pounding the entire time. Um, I didn't even run into anyone when I was outside, um, but it was still really exciting to, just to be out. Then a couple of weeks later, my friend got me to go to a nearby sushi place with her while I was all dressed, and... I was really, really nervous because this was at like like 4.30 in the afternoon and there was lots of people outside. And I was really nervous. I was like just looking at the ground the whole time and wouldn't really look anyone in the eye. But it was okay. Like it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, no one was like pointing at me and laughing or making comments or anything. And when we got to the sushi place to pick up our order, I was just like hiding from the, the people working there so they wouldn't see me because they'd see me as a boy. And... Um, but they don't think they noticed me. And then when we walked back, it was like, like some people actually smiled at me and everything. And like, it just wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, and after that, I started to go out a lot. I started to go out almost every single weekend dressed. I think this picture was taken probably the third or fourth time that I went out by myself. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I wore, this is what I wore outside. And this was in like, this was in like April. So this isn't really appropriate clothing for that time of year, and you can't see, but I'm wearing capris. So I'm wearing this like little top and like capris and these sunglasses, walking around my neighborhood, and like everyone's staring at me because <laughs> I was just dressed so inappropriately for the weather. I found that wearing sunglasses helped a lot when I was first starting to go out because whenever I wear sunglasses, I always feel kind of anonymous and that no one knows me. And since no one can see my eyes, they can't see how nervous I am. So around May, I met another tea girl online who lived in my neighborhood, and we decided to get together one night. So I went over to her house all dressed up and was really nervous because this was the first person that I'd really met as a girl before. And we had a we had a really good time, like we had a lot in common, and we just we just hung out for the night and and it was really nice. And we started to get together fairly often after that. And she introduced me to a bunch of new people, and I started going out a lot. I started going out to like out to restaurants and to, the, and to the mall pretty often, and out to clubs and stuff, and started to meet so many new people. And it was so awesome meeting new people um, when I was in girl mode because they had no idea how I was as a boy, so I felt more free to act the way I wanted. And I never really had like that much of a social life before, but. Ever since I started going out as a girl, I, I just have been doing stuff like so often and it's it's been such a good thing for me. This is a picture of me after one of my new friends brought me to a mall to have my makeup done at one of those makeup counters. It was a really good experience going there and I learned a lot about how to do makeup and what kind of makeup I should use and how to cover up my beard because you always have like the blue from your beard visible and uh, I learned that if you put like orange cover up over it, then it'll kind of cancel out the <clears throat> the blue color from the beard. The same night we went out to a restaurant. Um, I think this is the second or third time that I went to a restaurant dressed, and I was really liking going out dressed as a girl. And <clears throat> I was just so excited with everything I was doing. I was I was so happy. I was experiencing so many new things. In the middle of the summer, my friend came over again, and we did another photo shoot. The pictures turned out great this time. We had really good lighting because we took the pictures in the middle of the afternoon, and I think because I was so much more used to presenting as a girl, because I'd been dressing and going out in social situations as a girl for a couple months at this point, um, the whole process just went way smoother, and I was just way more comfortable having my picture taken, and we got a lot of really natural pictures, and I was really, really happy with these. After quite a few months of going out a lot, I started to seriously consider transitioning and living full-time as a woman. I was scared, though, about all that this would mean to me and all this would change in my life, and I didn't know for sure whether this was just a phase or whether I was like sort of addicted to all the attention that I got or, or what it really was. So... I didn't really know what I should do, and I thought about it for months, but it kind of like, it would always come back, like, the feeling of wanting to live full-time as a woman would always come back, and 
it always has come back. And really it's like it's always sort of been there ever since I started dressing as a teenager. Although I didn't really understand these feelings when I was a teenager. But after months and months of contemplating it and thinking about it and meeting lots of trans women in real life and talking to them about their experiences, I finally decided to do it. And actually, my first YouTube video is basically like seconds after I fully decided that this was what I was going to do. I had literally just decided at that point that I was going to go full time and I wanted to start in hormones and do all that. That was the time that I filmed that first YouTube video. Um, and then this is just a picture of me on the beach <laughs> um, last summer. Uh, this was probably around the time I recorded my third vlog or something. And yeah, that's just me hanging out on the beach. Okay, so that's a pretty good recap of how I got to where I am today. Uh, hope everyone liked the video, and I'll see you in another one of my vlogs. Okay, bye.